Hey everyone, I'm Jason Fitzgerald from strengthrunning.com and you're watching episode 12 of Q&A with Coach. And in this episode, we're gonna talk all about running form. Let's get started. Okay. As you can see, I'm outside. I decided to get out of my office and outside since it was a great day, but as soon as I did, I can just see the storm clouds rolling in, so I'm gonna try to make this quick, efficient, and to the point. Today's question comes from Mike, and Mike actually submitted this only an hour ago, and his question is, uh, what are some tips and exercises to improve running form? How do I increase my hip extension? This is interesting. There's a lot of great stuff about running form out there. Uh, I actually just um, got a lot of really interesting responses from a lot of uh, biomechanics experts and running form experts about running form. And so we'll put a link to that article right about here or so. But what I want to impress upon you and Mike here is that um, there's really only two things that you can do that uh, will help you improve your running form. And these are the two best things that you can do. Anyone should be doing these things. And number one, it's make sure your cadence is at the right spot. Now your cadence is your step rate or how many steps that you're taking per minute. Now, this is gonna change based on how fast you're going, what kind of terrain you're, you're running on, uh, and a few other factors. But if you're under 170 steps per minute, there's a lot of room for improvement. So while you're out on an easy run, count the number of steps that you take in a single minute, and then that's your cadence. If it's under 170, you should try to improve that and get it over 170. A lot of people have talked about the 180 steps per minute as the golden step rate. Uh, there's no such thing as a magic cadence number. It simply doesn't exist. Under uh, 170 can be problematic for injuries, but if you're over 170, you're doing a lot right. Now the second thing that you can do to improve your form is to land underneath your body. Combined with a faster cadence, landing underneath your body as opposed to reaching out in front of you uh, and over striding, you're gonna correct most of the problems with poor running form. Now, um, a lot of people pay a lot of attention to uh, the type of foot strike that they have, whether they're heel striking, forefoot striking, midfoot striking, it doesn't really matter. If you're landing underneath your body, you're not over striding, and your cadence is at least over 170, and it, that will get a lot faster the faster you run, you're taking care of almost all of the running form problems that most runners tend to have. Now. There's a couple cues that you can use to help you um, have better posture while you run and uh, increase your cadence and do all these things that contribute to proper running form. Now, one of my favorite cues is all about posture. And this is, let's pretend there's a string on the top of your head and it's being pulled up in the air. Now, what this is gonna do, it's, it's gonna give you a tall, erect posture. It's gonna prevent slouching and it's gonna prevent that forward lean that a lot of runners think they need, but in fact, it should come naturally. The forward lean should come from the ankles, and most runners should, instead of focusing on that, focus on a tall, erect posture. And uh, that cue is going to um, make sure that your form is much more efficient. It's gonna prevent bending at the waist, which can be very problematic for back injuries, and it's gonna really fix a lot of the issues with your running form. All right, the second part to Mike's question is about hip extension. Hip extension is when your trail leg or the leg that's coming back behind you extends behind you. <laughs> and uh, your hip should extend uh, kind of behind your midline. And runners with really tight hip flexors have problems with really poor hip extension. So how do we fix this? First and foremost, what I'm doing right now is terrible for hip extension. I'm sitting down. And the unfortunate reality to modern life is that most of us spend the majority of our day sitting down, whether that's commuting to work, sitting down at work, and then eating all of our meals and hanging out uh, at night, maybe relaxing in front of the television. All of these things are problematic because they shorten the hip flexors 
and they make hip extension uh, very uh, problematic. You know, you, you just don't get good hip range of motion if your hip flexors are chronically tight. So how do we fix this? Number one, stop sitting so much. Try to get a standing desk or at least take a break every uh, 45 to 60 minutes and that's going to that's gonna help a lot. Second thing you can do is practice strides. Now I've written an article about strides uh, that goes into a lot more detail than I'm going to uh, cover today so I'm going to put a link to that right about here. And what this is going to do is simply it's going to make you run fast. And you should be doing these two to three times per week after your easy runs and it's going to make sure that you're running really fast and when you run fast you have a pretty good range of motion. If you're always running slow you're never getting that big wide range of motion in the hip joint. Okay, And so by running fast you're going to fix that issue. Second thing you can do, get on your foam roller, work out your quadriceps, work out your hips and hip flexors. If there's any kind of scar tissue from previous injuries um, then that self massage is going to really help you work that out. Uh, it's also just going to help bring blood flow to the area, it's going to help elongate your muscles, uh, and it's going to do all the things that a good massage should do. So those are the three things that can really help with hip extension. Uh, I wouldn't try to actually extend your hip really far while you're running. Uh, I don't think this is a good way to, to practice good running form. Instead, focus on the string on your head, focus on the tall posture, get your cadence right, and land underneath your body. and with those couple tips, you probably won't have too many big problems with your running form and you can instead focus on training smarter and running faster. All right, that was episode 12 of Q&A with Coach. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you'd like your question on the show, you can either email it to me, support at strengthrunning.com, or you can tweet it to me on Twitter. Make sure you use the hashtag runquestion. Now, if you noticed, if you've been watching the show since I started it, I'm only doing one question, I'm doing something a little bit different this time. I'd like to give you uh, a more thorough, longer answer to your questions, and I think that way you can watch the specific videos that are of more interest to you, and then this way they're not so damn long. All right, I'm Jason Fitzgerald. Thanks for watching.